a very good morning to everyone today we have demo on the muscles of the forearm so in the forearm there are two compartment let's say the ante compartment on the back side there we have the poste compartment so let's know the muscles which is present in ante compartment also known as the flexor compartment of the forearm so there are five superficial muscles that is present in the the ante compartment of the forearm and there are three deep muscles which is present in again the flexor or ante compartment of the forearm let's know the five superficial muscles which is present in ante compartment so for that keep in mind this is the small finger side we can say the the ulna bone is here and this is known as the radial side thumb side that is known as the radius bone this we can say flexor this we have flexor compartment and here we have the wrist bone also we can say the carpal bones and we can say this is radial side and this is we have the ulnar side and this is the palm region and the middle finger is known as the long finger right so according to that we can say that those five muscles we can say flexor goes towards the carpal bone towards the radial side so we can say flexor carpi radialis the muscles which goes towards the ulnar side can you say flexor carpi and this is ulnar side so ulnaris again the muscle which goes towards the palm area can say palmaris and the middle finger that is known as the long muscles so we can say the the name palmaris longus and we have the deep muscles which goes towards the medial side of this four finger we can say flexor digitorum superficialis so all together let's know about all these muscles if this is a medial epicondyle let's keep our five this finger over here and from the medial epicondyle the first muscles which we can see here can see this one the muscles this is something known as the pronator teres right this is pronator teres which is having two heads so we have to know this two head you can see this one right so we have the two head which arise from the humerus bone from the medial epicondyle as well as from the medial aspect of the coronoid process of ulna so now can you see this one this is known as the median nerve which is passing between the two head of the pronator teres so this is something known as pronator teres right and insertion takes place here that is in the lateral surface of middle one third of the radius bone so this is pronator teres and next to that we have to come towards the medial side next to that we have the muscles here this muscles is known as flexor carpi radialis can you see this one it is going towards the radial side so this is flexor carpi radialis now can you palpate the pulse over here so this artery is known as the radial artery just medial to the radial artery can you feel this tendon and this tendon is known as the tendon of flexor carpi radialis third muscle short belly short belly long tendons right and it goes towards the palm area so can you say palmaris longus so this third muscle is known as palmaris longus now can you see the bulk muscles here this is something known as the flexor digitorum superficialis so this muscles here forms the four tendons can you see here one two three and the four tendons so these all are the four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis and which goes and attach to the middle phalanx can you see on the either side of the middle phalanx the insertion of the flexor digitorum superficialis takes place for the medial four finger one two three and this four finger not for the thumb finger right and the last one can you see this muscle this muscles is known as flexor carpi ulnaris so i repeat this one is known as the pronator teres first one next one is known as the flexor carpi radialis third one is known as palmaris longus and fourth one is known as flexor digitorum superficialis and fifth one is known as the flexor carpi ulnaris so these all are the five superficial muscles which is present in the ante compartment of the forearm all these five superficial muscles is supplied by the median nerve except this ulnaris which is supplied by ulnar nerve now let's know the muscles which is present in the deeper aspect so there are three deep muscles which is present in the ante compartment of the forearm now let's reflect all these muscles superficial muscles can you see here this muscles is something known as the deep muscles now towards the the thumb finger side the muscles you can see here this muscles is known as flexor pollicis longus hamesha yaad rakhiye ye jo aapka radial side mein hoga usko bolenge flexor pollicis longus 
और उसके नीचे देखो यहाँ पे ये यह पूरा बल्क मसल जो देख रहे हो इसको बोलेंगे हम लोग फ्लेक्सर डिजिटोरम प्रोफंडस अगेन दिस फ्लेक्सर डिजिटोरम प्रोफंडस मसल्स इट फॉर्म्स द फोर टेंडेंस एंड आफ्टर फॉर्मिंग द फोर टेंडेंस इट गोज एन अटैच टू द the terminal phalanx can you see this one this is known as the tendons of flexor digitorum the profundus which goes and attached to the medial four one two three four terminal phalanx that is the last phalanx right so this is flexor digitorum profundus now if i'll reflect the flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum profundus in the deeper aspect can you see this muscle this muscle is known as pronate of uh, uh, pronator quadratus right so here pronator teres is here here this is known as pronator quadratus in between the flexor pollicis longus and the the flexor digitorum profundus can you see this one this knob is known as anterior interosseous knob and this anterior interosseous knob is a branch of median knob and this median knob is supplying all these three deep muscles so anterior interosseous knob is supplying to flexor pollicis longus pronator quadratus and to the flexor digitorum profundus but keep in mind this flexor digitorum profundus is having dual nerve supply or the two nerve supply so it is supplied by the lateral half is supplied by the anterior interosseous nerve and the medial half is supplied by ulnar nerve right so this entire bulk muscle is supplied by two nerves medial half ulnar nerve lateral half by anterior interosseous nerve which is a branch of the median nerve thank you